G'day guys, uh, you've probably watched Imelda's video in response to the Channel 10 news report uh, and I'd just like to now give you my response to that. Uh, basically, from the outset I'd like to say that you know it was never planned to get kicked out as obviously that's not something I'm all about, you know, um, and it was never a plan for it to be filmed. Um, so for that to be, you know, basically thrown at us was, was quite unfair. Uh, Mad fan team did come with me to the game uh, as friends of mine uh, because they've obviously helped Nicholas and myself get our message out. They've been absolutely fantastic and really, to be honest, we couldn't have done it without them. So what we wanted to do was we wanted to show them a football game, show them the, the, the awesome team that we know and love and we watch every week and to show them you know, the passion and the spirit that our supporters have and the, and the respect we have for each other. Uh, and to be honest, they saw that. They saw exactly what we were like. And uh, which leads me to the next bit. Um, they also saw everyone's support for me when I was uh, obviously unfairly kicked out. And I was unfairly kicked out. Uh, as, as much as it's claimed by Mr. Gorsi that, um, you know, it was for, for abusive behaviour. Well, that's just totally and utterly false. And all you need to do is look at the video of me being ejected and you will see that there is no such behaviour. And if that's not, you know, proof enough, then speak to speak to the people who sit around me who witnessed it, and, and they'll tell you that that is just complete and utterly false. One of the people who sat around me was obviously Dr. Moody, who saw everything, and he will tell you it was complete and utterly false. And I'd like to thank him for publicly supporting our cause and publicly supporting me, because really, <laughs> the stuff that's being thrown at me is just an attempt to shut us up and I'm not going to shut up you know we fought this cause for you know ever since April 22 it was probably a couple of weeks after it and we've had things thrown at us um, and this is just another one of those things and I and, and, and I will not let this railroad us because we've got a job to do and our job is to represent all of us supporters and as much as you know as much as I think there are better people to do it I think I've fallen into the role of doing it so I'm going to keep doing it. And I'm not going to be scared off by these bully boy tactics, which are typical of News Limited, John Hardigan, and now, unfortunately, Mr. Gorsi. Um, on Mr. Gorsi, I, I really did think he was a genuine and decent man. And look, I do appreciate him talking to me yesterday after I did the Channel 10 report. But my own opinion, and I'm allowed to give my own opinion, I honestly don't think that he is the independent man that he claims. He is a very... He, he is a very loyal man to his employer, who are News Limited. And some of the things he told me yesterday, which I'm not going to go into because, you know, it was a, a meeting that, that was private. I, I told him I wouldn't d divulge anything. But some of the things he said were indeed actually very false. And that is extremely upsetting. It's upsetting on two fronts to think that, you know, he would claim such false things to me and then also think that I would believe him and not come home and check them up. It, it just... It just it's just very concerning. Um, basically, I haven't been offered an apology by anyone at the storm. Um, not that I want it from, from most of the staff because I know they didn't do it because, you know, we're all in this together. I, I, I would have thought Mr Gorsi would have shown some remorse to the way things were handled as, you know, as my previous blog went through, you know, what happened. It's very easy to see by the video evidence that this was complete and utterly unfair. And now, to claim that I was abusive? Ah, it's rubbish. It's just, it's just, it's an absolute farce. And, as I said, you just need to watch the video or speak to the crowd. And I, there are 60 or 70 people who sit around me, and you ask any one of those people, and they will tell you that, yes, I was upset, but at no stage was I ever abusive. I did, however, say to the guard who, who, you know, lied, basically, as I said in the last video, I did say to him as I left, I said, I hope you can sleep at night. But again, I don't think that's being abusive. Again, I just think that's me, you know, letting him know that I'm not very happy with, with, his, with his untruthful claims. Um, this, this, is just a, this is just another example of what News Limited are trying to do to us supporters. And they're trying to discredit me which, you know, which may have worked with a few of you, which I, I hope it doesn't. I hope a lot of you know me by now to know that, you know, what you see with me is what you get. And 
for for them to throw all this at me. Look, mud sticks, I know that. And there are going to be a few people who doubt me, but I, I want to make this pledge to you to you guys that I, I love the club. I've, I've said this many times, and, and I don't love it more than you guys because we all love it the same amount. We go about it in different ways. Yes, I'm, I'm, I'm very passionate, just like you are, but I am prepared to put my neck on the line for the cause that I really believe in, and I do really believe in our cause. As I said, 13 years a member, I know this place pretty much like the back of my hand, and I love it, and I love it. I've been following it since I was a, a teenager, and you know I'm a lot older than that now, and I'll continue to follow it for as long as we are around, which is, I hope, many, many years after I'm gone. But as I said, I, I think the best chance for that happening is with News Limited gone and out. This whole um, saga <laughs> has been interesting for me <laughs> because a lot of people have been, you know, and, and I thank them for all the support, you know, on the email. You know, I've got so many messages of support and everyone's been great, but... The people calling me a martyr and a hero and a champion, look, I'm not, guys. I'm really not. I'm the same as you. I am the same as you. We are all the same. We There's not one person who supports a club more than the other. We all support in our own ways, and we all got the same passion. So please, please, I'm begging you, don't call me a martyr, don't call me a champion, don't call me a legend, because I'm doing this for what I believe in. I love this club, so I'm getting a lot out of this by knowing that I'm doing the right thing for the thing I love, and... I want you all to see yourselves as equals because you are. Look, I might be the voice at the moment. I might be the mouthpiece for everyone until we can find someone better, and I hope that's fairly soon because, you know, I think a lot of lot, lot better people could be doing it, but we are all in this together. We're all as one. I am you and you are me, basically, and we will we will keep fighting. And this, this you know, this mudslinging from, from Ron Gorsey, News Limited, the Olympic uh, and Amy Park Trust, or Melbourne and, and, Amy, and Olympic Park Trust, you know, some of it might stick, but as I said, guys, please try and see through it, and please try and see what they're trying to do. I was told by Mr. Gorsey, basically, that, you know, I'd be seen, I was now being seen as a nuisance, and and, I, and, and my and my commitment for, to the club was questioned, and that really did upset me, because, as I said to Mr. Gorsey, I've been here 13 years, he's been here two minutes, and in that 13 years, I've never, ever had any brush with any authority whatsoever at any Storm game. So this is the first bit. And look, I, I, I'm not going to be surprised if there's more because I'm going to be on their, I'm going to be on their target list. I'm going to be on their radar. But guys, I know you believe in this. I know you believe in me. So I make this pledge to you guys that I am not going to back down. They've tried to scare me. They're not going to scare me. They haven't scared me. I'm, as, I'm more committed now than ever and I will see this through and all I ask from you guys is to just to get behind us, support us and those of you sitting on the fence, as I've said to you in the past, just read the facts, read everything and make up your own minds because after all that, you will see what we see and you will see that News Limited are a poison. They're a poison towards our football club and it can be claimed by you know many News Limited employees involved with our club that they are a lifeline to this club. Look, we I don't doubt that they, they throw a lot of money in, but we have people willing to jump on board, people who love the club as much as we do, who have that same who have that same resource, and they will run the club with the passion that we've all got, and not as a business as these people are doing at News Limited, because there's no human touch in this this organisation. They don't care about the members. They don't care about the supporters. They don't care about the coach, and they don't care about the players. The four independent sack directors did, and still do. I mean, look at them. They all still come to the game. I mean, what does that say? What does that say? So I'll let you make up your own minds, but please, guys, they're going to throw mud at me. They're going to th probably throw mud at Nicholas and at anyone else who speaks out. But please see through it, and please see News Limited for what they are, a bunch of tyrants who will keep doing this, until they think they can win. Well, guys, they're not going to. Our pledge, Nicholas and myself, we're going to keep fighting and we're going to win. Thanks, guys. Take care.